Hey there, happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to day 45 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Nelson here. And today we're gonna talk about embracing love, meaning accepting love, right? Some people are awesome at accepting love, other people not so much. So one thing I learned and I read about in the 19, geez, I think it was in the 1990s, in uh, 1992, Gary Chapman, a gentleman by the name of Gary Chapman wrote a book called The Five Love Languages. And it's become a bestseller, of course, because it talks to something that most people can relate to, love or lack of love or how we give and receive love. And it taught me a lot about my marriage and my relationship in terms of my ex-husband, now my ex-husband, so obviously that didn't work out so well, uh, his love language, how he felt and showed love was very different than how I wanted to be loved and experience love. And that's part of what happens is we, we have different ways of being and different preferences and that means that not all of our relationships work out. I know, shocker, right? I mean, not every relationship is going to work out. Yeah, absolutely not. So what are the five love languages? And I'm just going to describe, I'm not going to even describe them. I'm just going to probably list them and you can figure out which one is your preferred style of loving and being loved because we all, we all have a primary one and then a secondary one. And you know what? We all like all of the different ways of being loved and giving love, but we usually have a preference for one or the other. It's just like uh, whether you're an auditory, a visual, or a kinesthetic person. You know, we like to divide humans up into groups and, and categorize us because it, we think it makes us it easier to understand ourselves and other people. And in some way, shape, and form, it does. Other times, not so much. If we put ourselves in a box, it's hard to let ourselves out of that box. It's kind of like the box of our comfort zone. We put ourselves in a, an area of, of behaviors and actions and beliefs and choices that make us feel comfortable. And as long as we're comfortable, it's pretty hard to make changes in our life unless we're constantly choosing to expand our comfort zone and to grow and personally develop. So what are these five love languages? Number one, words of affirmation. And whenever I hear this, I think of my friend Sherry. She is definitely a primary example of this. Second, physical touch. Third, quality time, spending time, energy, and attention on someone. Fourth is acts of service, helping people out, doing things for other people, and then receiving gifts. Some people love to lavish and receive gifts, other people not so much. So those are the five primary love languages. And our action item today is simply thinking about which of those are you? And then share that in the comments below. I actually have to think about this because I think as I've gone through different times and phases of my life, certain things have been more important to me than others. Like when I was raising my kids, acts of service was an incredible way to show love. If you would help me out, it was definitely a way of showing me love. And then during different times in our life, we're, we're more interested in different areas and aspects of loving. But this is also a day to remember not only loving other people, but loving ourselves as well. So do something today for self-care and to take care of you. Love yourself so you can love other people. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have an absolutely amazing Valentine's Day. And I have a new grandbaby, so I had to use my I Love Grandma's cup today. Have a great day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.